and hi welcome back to educate wordpress where we talk everything and all about wordpress i'm aisha and in this video i'm going to tell you how you can add a group product into your woocommerce website so when you're having a product which has various uh, groups or various bundles that's uh, that associated with that one single product then you will be needing to use a group product so the main difference between a group product and a bundle and a variable product is that uh, the both of them has this price limit but when you choose one particular uh, variation you can only add them into the cart so in the group product you can add multiple variations into your uh, cart so that's a, a plus point of a group product also you can add various bundles and choose a single one uh, in uh, for a product so let's see how it is the, done and before we get into the video don't forget to subscribe as we come up with videos on woocommerce and wordpress every now and then to get your website performance up and top so i'm going to add a new product here from i'm going to add a product so the product i'm going to add is an iphone so uh, iphone 12 is a latest model that came up recently so uh, what iphone 12 has is they have various uh, variations uh, they have size uh, different uh, size variation i mean storage variation but that comes under the variable part here we have iphone 12 iphone 12 mini iphone 12 pro iphone 12 pro max so we're going to see how you can group them so i'm just added uh, the product name so as you can see there are multiple uh, symbol product group product variable product affiliate product i'm going to select the group product you can see that there is no price point over here right you can just add an sku from here uh, whatever sku that you have been flow following you can add that then you have to set a product image here I have a product image. Uh, I am just adding that one. Also, I am uh, assigning a category. You can choose whichever you want. And you just have to publish them. So, once published, you can view that uh, there is uh, nothing much happened. There is a new product, but there is no buy now button or anything like that here. So, uh, we are just going to go back and we're going to add a new product here so uh, i'm going to add the product i'm going to add iphone 12 only so here this is a single uh, single product and the iphone 12 cost almost eighty six thousand. all right so here the one thing you have to choose is you, uh, you can add an image but that won't be visible uh, one thing you have to do is you have to go to here and uh, see the catalog catalog visibility and edit it and choose hidden all right and you can just uh, uh, publish it so once published uh, that won't be available uh, available available anywhere else but what you can do is you can go back to your group product and here in the linked product you can uh, go to the group product option and you can type the first three uh, letters so you can be able to see the iphone 12 all right so i'm just going to update this on updating you can see that there is this one product that's available right now so we're going to add multiple products under this and also let's see how you can add variable products uh, under this as well all right so uh, I'm, I'm just going to add a new product here i'm going to add a iphone mini so i'm just going to update the price i'm not doing anything i'm just going to add the price and uh, just editing the catalog visibility so you can add multiple products uh, like that uh, like this and that's done and i'm going to add two more products that's associated with the same product iphone 12 pro so 12 pro cost a whooping uh, amount of 1990 all right so again we go here in the catalog and go to hidden just updated that again and i'm going to add the final product here i'm going to add iphone 12 pro 
max and this cost almost one two seven double zero I mean triple zero all right let's go to the edit cat uh, catalog and hidden and publish so once all the products are published let's go back uh, go to the our original original product this product and edit this and the group product uh, we are just going to add the remaining products from here so I've just added mini I've added pro all right I've added the final one as well iPhone Pro Max all right so that's done and I'm going to update this okay so let's go to the uh, product page and I'm going to uh, update this here you can see the various product and the prices listed over here so basically uh, when a variable product is there you will be able to choose uh, the options from here but here you can add multiple products from this one this one um, is going to add this one I'm not rich don't mistake me for that but yeah uh, this is how this works but again uh, what if you have to add a variable product from here uh, like let's say iPhone 12 has three variation that comes in 64 GB 128 GB 256 GB and 526 GB what will happen what uh, what can you do in that situation so for that we just going to go back and go to uh, iPhone 12 uh, product here you can see uh, my iPhone 12 is here I'm going to edit this and let's make it here it's a simple products right so I'm going to make it a variable product here I'm going to click on to the variable and I'm going to add attributes for this so uh, for, for you yeah, you must have done uh, this uh, you can just check the video out where you can add the variable products I'm going to add a storage as attribute so basically when a variable product is there you, can, you have to add a, a variation and then what are the variation you have to add them by separating the uh, straight line all right uh, 128 and 256 we're not going too much so and uh, I just forgot to click this one as well okay so uh, I have just saved the attributes uh, right then uh, you can just uh, go to the variation and you can click on to add variation and go so uh, there is uh, the variations coming so first one is uh, once uh, 64 GB and I'm going to add the price it's 80,000 rupees and save changes so uh, similar way you can uh, add two more here these are the product code if you are confused and we're going to add the amount here and this one it's 95,000 all right so that's done and we have just saved the changes so let's see if this comes uh, directly into this or you have to add them separately so let's go here and I'm going to uh, uh, rotate uh, like refresh this here you can see that there is a select option button over here we don't have to go back to the group products and edit them again we just have to refresh the page and you will be able to see the select option here so when you click on to that you will be able to choose the option from here if you want to 64 GB if you want 128 GB you can just add them to the cart all right so uh, when you go back here you can see uh, you can add again the mini or the pro uh, all those things from here only so that's how you can add variable products uh, I mean group products into your WooCommerce website and also incorporate the variable product into the group product so that's it that's all about today's video I hope this video helped if you like this video big give a big fat thumbs up and we'll see you in another video bye